you go. All right, good morning, Communications 11 class. Good morning. With the utmost deference to Jude, our classmate, and his stream of consciousness recounting of his trials and tribulations in the Catholic school education, I obviously, too, do not fit the SMC college student. So I decided to follow the profile of your typical college career in reverse. My name is David Bando, but please refer to me simply as Bando. For some reason, everybody does anyway, so we might as well cut the transition pretty down. <laughs> so I don't have to correct you by calling me that other name. So who am I? Who is Bando? I have a long and what I would like to think successful career in the television, film, and advertising. So I thought, what the heck? Why not get a few degrees? I have the time. And thanks to the Veterans Administration, I now have the resources. Actually, this unorthodox college experience has been very interesting, enjoyable, and very amusing. Having said that, what is the deal with the students at this college wandering around campus like zombies with your faces stuck in your iPhones? I sure hope you're not doing that while you're driving. Adjunct to that. <coughs> when I tell my friends and colleagues what I'm doing, I get one or two responses. Wow, that's great. That's amazing. Or, what are you, nuts? <laughs> I guess you could say it's a little of both. I certainly don't need it for my CV, and it most definitely will not help me and get my work in at my current field. So finally, what does Bando expect in the college experience? I know you're not supposed to speak to yourself in the Third person. But yes, perhaps it will give me the opportunity to pursue something very new and very different. I like to live by the Stoic philosopher dictum of espoused by Epictetus, the former Roman slave. The only control you have over the events of your life is how you react. Hey, if all else fails, a master's degree in public policy will look really good on my obituary. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. Bando is one that we could watch with our eyes closed and still know what he's feeling and thinking. Do you feel that way? And why could you know what he's feeling and thinking with your eyes closed? His tone of voice does what? changes, it expresses the emotions that he's saying, you know, when he's joking, you know, when he's serious, you can see. But beyond that, if we were then to look at him, what does his face additionally tell you? Anyone? Do we see any of those emotions in his face? He has a sincerity, you know, like it's like he's like, oh, yeah. Like his face would have been just like a big smile. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, Brian.